Hi folks, Kieran here. I'm back out again for another crack at this half cab heel flip. I got super, super close yesterday and uh, I just want to try and keep that momentum going. I really feel like any attempt could be the land. So yeah, I just want to get back out as soon as possible. Um, I drove around for like half an hour this morning, like wasted half an hour basically, looking for the a dry park. They were all really bad. Ironically, the best one is the one I was at yesterday, which is five minutes from my house. So yeah, um, should just come straight here. But lesson learnt um this is usually the worst one so that's my excuse anyway um i'm just gonna warm up for like five minutes um with just some of our basic flat grounds and then we'll just jump straight into this half cap heel um yeah so i feel like i'm really close um haven't got a huge amount of time didn't have a huge amount of time already this morning wasted a bunch of it so yeah let's um let's just stop chatting shit and just get on with it so yeah hopefully today's the day Well, in shape or form. I'll take something like that, I don't care if it rolls over, as long as I land both feet on it clean. I'm not really bothered if it doesn't get the whole way around, so as long as it gets like more than 90. Like that's the one, like it just needs to pop to get a bit more time to, to flip. Done. Right, I've run out of time. Um, that wasted half an hour is coming back to bite me because I feel like right at the end there, I just managed to work out one more piece of the puzzle. I'll try and show you. Uh, excuse the bad cameras, but basically, I've moved this foot. I was like here, I've moved it up here, kind of under those front bolts. It's just allowing the flick to happen that little bit faster. Um, it feels like the board's kind of flopping over rather than popping up and flicking. But I'm not really bothered to be honest. As long as it comes up and round, I get both feet on it, I'll be happy. Um, that one 
I can't remember, quite, quite near the end where I sort of like stepped off it. That was the one where I felt it. Like that's the closest I've got to actually landing it because I don't know, you know, when you try and flip tricks and stuff like that, you know the difference between like a, a looks good try that you're nowhere near versus a try where you you feel like, oh yeah, if that just, my feet have been slightly different, I'd have got it. So yeah, uh, just disappointed I wasted all that time driving around. Um, I feel like if I come here, I feel like I've had a full hour at it now that I've worked that out. Like I said, you know, that foot placement also, I'm just leaning back a little bit more. It's keeping the board in front of me. So yeah, do you know what I mean? We're, we're real close. I'm just going to keep plugging away at this one, folks. Um, it might get a bit boring for you because, I don't know, uh, the next three or four videos, as many videos as it takes to land this, um, I'm just going to keep going at it. Hope I might try and just introduce, like, during the warm-up, doing some other stuff and skating some other obstacles just to keep things fresh. But, like, I'm really on the cusp. It's been so long since I landed a new trick, particularly a new flip trick. It was probably years. So, like, I don't want to lose this one. I want to just keep this momentum going. So, yeah. Um... That's it. Anyone with any ideas, leave it down in the comments below. Like, I'd really appreciate um, any thoughts or tips because, yeah, you know, that stuff's made such a massive difference to me in the past with learning tricks. Like, um, you know, sometimes you can't see it, but someone else can just like look into it, look at your tries, and be like, bang, you need to do this, and that just unlocks the whole thing. So, yeah, cool. That's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow. Try again. Cheers, guys. Take care.